Anderson, I'm not much into political speculation. I don't know what's going to happen here in Nevada. I don't know what's going to happen on Super Tuesday. I don't know, you know, who's going to win, who's going to lose. But this is what I do know. And this I feel very strongly about. You know, Mr. Bloomberg has every right in the world to run for president of the United States. He's an American citizen. But I don't think he has the right to buy this election. You know, we pride ourselves on being the longest standing democracy in the world. And we're proud of that. To me, what that means, one person, one vote. You want to run for president? You run for president. You got good ideas? Maybe you win, maybe you don't win. But I do think it's a bit obscene that we have somebody who, by the way, chose not to contest in Iowa, in Nevada, uh, in South Carolina, in New Hampshire, where all of the candidates, we did town meetings, we're talking to thousands and thousands of people working hard. He said, I don't have to do that. I'm worth $60 billion. I have more wealth than the bottom 125 million Americans. I'll buy the presidency. That offends me very much.